Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech tutorial. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create variables in Google Docs that you can automatically populate in Zapier or Make, formerly known as Integromat. Let's get started. Adding variables to a Google Doc will let you use that document as an automated template. By just filling in a form with all the values you want to insert into your variables, you'll be able to generate new documents in a matter of seconds. First, I'll show you how to format those variables in Docs so that Zapier and Make can recognize those as variables. Then, I'll show you how to set up a simple automation to actually create a new document using either Zapier or Make. To create an automation-ready variable in Google Docs, you just need to enclose the text of your variable in two sets of curly braces. For example, in this doc, we want to change John Smith into two variables, first name and last name. So we'll replace John with first name in two curly braces, and we'll do the same with Smith and last name. If you plan to use Make or Integromat to create documents, then you can use any format you want for your variable names. However, if you're using Zapier, we'd recommend avoiding hyphens, spaces, or other special characters in your variable names. Variables with spaces and hyphens aren't currently recognized and supported in Zapier. They have supported these characters in the past, and they may end up updating this later, but leaving them out of your variable names is the safest option for now. Now, we'll continue adding variable names to this document. Once you're finished adding all of your variables, copy your document ID. The ID can be found in the URL bar. It starts after the slash D slash, and ends at the next forward slash. You'll need this ID later when we start building the automation. Now let's see how these variables work in practice. First, we'll make a simple zap, then we'll show you a similar scenario in make. Check the chapters in the description below if you'd like to skip ahead. We'll create a zap that uses this doc as a template. It will make a copy that fills in all of the variables with actual names, dates, etc. First, you'll need a trigger step that gathers data to insert into the variables. In our example, we're using a simple Airtable form to collect the information. Then, add a Google Docs step to your Zap. Choose Create Document from a template, click Continue, and log into your Google account. Paste your document's ID that you grabbed earlier into the Template Document field. Give your new doc a name and specify the folder where you want it to be created. Then you should see all of the variables that you created as fields. If any of them are missing, just go back to your template and make sure that every variable has two sets of curly brackets and no special characters, including spaces. Map each piece of the collected data to the appropriate variable. Finally, test your zap. You should see a new doc in the specified folder with all of the variables replaced with real data. You could also look at the outputs of this action and look for an alt link. This is the actual URL of the document that you just created. To automatically create a document from your template in Make, start by creating a new scenario. Just like with Zapier, you'll need a trigger module that can gather data to replace your variables with. Once again, we'll be using an Airtable form, but you can use any application that collects the necessary information. With the trigger set up, Add a new Google Docs module and select Create a Document from a Template. Under Create a Document from a Template, select By Mapping. Copy and paste your Google Docs ID into the Document ID field. The Values field is where we'll identify and replace our variables. Click the Add Item button to add a new tag. Tag is the term that Make uses to describe variables in Google Docs. In the field that says tags, enter the name for your first variable exactly as it appears in your doc, except without the curly braces. Then, in replaced value, enter the data from your trigger that you want to use. 
If possible, make sure the names for your variables are similar or identical in both sources. It's much easier to map all of your variables when they're clearly named. Repeat this process for every variable in your doc. Then, run the scenario to test it. You should see a new doc with each variable replaced by the appropriate data. Now you're all set to create automation-ready templates with your Google Docs. It just takes a few minutes to set up, and then you can create error-free documents in seconds with either Make or Zapier. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.